Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. As the global military drone market experiences exponential growth, propelled by increasing demand for combat-ready unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, amidst geopolitical tensions, South Korean startups are seizing the opportunity to carve out a niche in this burgeoning sector. With the market projected to soar from $14.4 billion in 2023 to $35.6 billion by 2030, these innovative companies are swiftly diversifying and innovating to meet evolving defense needs. One standout player in this landscape is NerthLab, renowned for its precision autonomous drone technologies utilized in wind turbine inspections. Leveraging its expertise, NerthLab has transitioned into the military domain, introducing drone grenades, autonomous drones engineered to neutralize enemy UAVs by colliding with them at speeds reaching 250 km per hour. This disruptive technology underscores South Korea's capacity for innovation in the defense sector. Similarly, This Is Engineering Incorporated, Thai, has established a subsidiary, Shift Dynamics, dedicated to manufacturing military drones integrated with AI technology. Drawing from its experience in advanced aerial mobility, Thai aims to revolutionize reconnaissance and combat capabilities through cutting-edge UAVs. Pablo Air, originating from drone delivery systems, has also ventured into military drone development, challenging established market players with innovative solutions. The surge in drone development is not limited to South Korea, as evidenced by the proliferation of drone companies in Ukraine, where the conflict with Russia has catalyzed technological advancements. The number of Ukrainian firms specializing in drone technology has skyrocketed from just 10 before the war to approximately 200 today, highlighting the pivotal role of drones in modern warfare for reconnaissance and combat operations. Furthermore, regulatory reforms in South Korea are shaping the landscape of drone development. The National Police Commission's relaxation of rules on unmanned aerial vehicles permits their use over protest sites for surveillance, evidence collection, and real-time traffic violation monitoring. Additionally, government agencies are facilitating tests of anti-drone technology such as jammers, aimed at countering drone-related terrorist threats by disrupting hostile UAVs' radio communications in designated areas. To foster the growth of the drone industry, the South Korean government has designated 17 cities and municipalities, including Busan, as hubs for drone-related activities spanning delivery and leisure. Moreover, 14 startups have been selected to participate in government-backed drone projects, underscoring the strategic significance of UAV technology in both military and civilian sectors. In conclusion, South Korean startups are capitalizing on the global expansion of the military drone market, leveraging their expertise in autonomous technologies to develop cutting-edge UAV solutions. With regulatory reforms and government support driving innovation, South Korea is poised to emerge as a leader in the rapidly evolving realm of drone technology, contributing to both national defense and commercial applications on a global scale. That's all for now, see you later.